check, check. Chill. Then Philadelphia. I think, um, so what, what, how do you want to do it? How do you, uh, I mean, the whole idea is just to get everybody to, to learn it and kind of get in the groove with each other. And we have a lot of time set aside to do that. So we don't have to like super rush and we should sort of just be open to like trying shit, try different keyboards, basses, sounds. My name is Steven A. Clark um, from Fayetteville, North Carolina, currently based in Miami. This session is different because you know, I don't collab with a lot of people on my music. When you produce for yourself, you got me the writer, then me the, the musician, and it's like, sometimes you feel like, oh, I want a little something different, or I need another ear, an ear that I trust. And everybody here has such like, good taste. It's just limitless. Do you want to come up and down, or do you want to keep building? Like, what feels natural coming from there? Like, I was going to write something new, maybe if we, if we lightened it. Right. You know, a little bit. Coming in, I was like, yo, I don't want to, like, tell them how to play, you know what I mean? Because these guys know what they're doing. And if we really wanted to, like, go classic with it, it could be, like, we could try, like, Great Gig in the Sky, like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. They could do that. They really could. Anyway, anyway, try it out. Try it out and just see what it sounds like. Yeah, I was nervous. I was nervous that people weren't going to really appreciate it. Because the song's really simple, and we're with these guys who can play anything. And I'm like, man, they're probably going to think this song's, like, cake. But I mean, as soon as I got here, everybody was, was cool. They they just got it. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Yeah, that feels good. You know, hip hop culture is different from you know rock culture. I mean, to fuse the two with actual players and getting it mixed and mastered, you know. I want to do it like that every time. You know, I love R&B, I love hip hop, I love all that stuff, and I want to make sure that stuff that I'm doing is treated like this. Can't get this bounty on my head. That's right, I'm off the bed. She can't forget what I did to her. Won't stop until I bled. Can't get this bounty on my head. That's right, I'm off the bed. She can't forget what I did to her. One day she's gonna. Down, 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 down. Can you sing that a little softer? Okay. Like, so it's like a little breathier? Down, down, down. Yeah, so you're getting in with the girls. Okay. Can you hear them? Yeah. Good, okay. Uh, the song's about, you know, hurting someone, you know, a girl in this case, and just knowing that, you know, I gotta pay for it. Cause you hunt for days. Till I'm dead and buried. I mean, it's funny, I never considered myself very poetic. I'm not the most like, forward person. I guess music would be the best way without me like being too, uh, being vulnerable. It's easier to be vulnerable in a song than it is to be like, hey, my name's Steven and this is what I'm going through. I like that. I that like cool. that one. Yeah, I do. Just a little something extra. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're all set. Good. Yep. Nice. Do some keys. <laughs> <laughs> The language of music, it, it's universal. I mean, it, it really is. I mean, you know, I wasn't even fully confident in the song. And then you guys are like, I really like this. I was like, you know, I like it too, but I didn't know where else to go with it and brought it here. And now it's like this thing, man. It's crazy. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing, actually. I mean, it's keep like pretty low or, or, or like really random. I like it like that. I, mean, I, think I like that. And I, I think early on it could be real straight. I mean, look, I'm from North Carolina. I mean, this stuff is like so not the norm. Culture, arts, you know, there's no real push for that, you know? And then to, to go from that to, to something like this where now the doors 
uh, like super wide open thanks to like a couple people who just leave. I mean, I just wanna, you know, I just wanna thank you guys. I can't get this bounty on my head. That's right, I'm up for dead. She can't forget what it did to her. Won't stop until I bled. Can't get this bounty on my head. head, head. Can't get this bounty on my head, head, head. I can't get this bounty on my head, head, head. I can't get this bounty on my head. One day. Giving people this experience with the studio, musicians, it gives you the desire to keep going and, and, and doing what you have to do to, to have that experience again on you know, all your songs. It gives me hope for you know, other people you know, trusting their taste. And, like there's people out there that I could go to to, to create with. One day she's gonna